So hello guys, welcome back to Get to Bite YouTube channel once again. I hope you all are doing well and working good. So in the last couple of videos, we have started with the new microcontroller coding series on the NXP S32 K144 microcontroller using Electronics version 2 development board. And for doing so, we have first of all started with the IDE S32 Design Studio IDE. In the last video. We have get to know about its software installation process, development package installation process and how to use it and it's just basic features. Now in this video, we are going to move ahead and we are going to see that how, what are the ways to create the project on s Design Studio and how to use the code configuration tool of the s Design Studio for generating the code and configuring the pins and peripherals and getting the basic application code ready. So now, without wasting time, let's get started. So guys, now first of all, going to start with the project creation on s Design Studio IDE. So there are further project creation can be further categorized into three parts making a project from demo examples or opening a already developed code on s Design Studio ID of the corresponding s k microcontroller and the third way is making a project from the scratch. So now we are going to move to all these steps mm -hmm. one by one. First of all starting with the making a project from demo examples. Now so as you open the Design Studio ID navigate to the file go to the new and in this you can see there are three options study to ds project from example study to ds library project and study to ds application project we are mainly going to use project from example and application project project from example would be making a project from the demo codes that uh, i have just told you from the demo examples of the sdk package and the application project would be creating a project from the scratch in which we will be configuring all the SDK tools, uh, the compiler tool, and the all the basic initializations by ourselves. So first of all, exploring the DS project from example. So click on it, the DS project from example. Now it might take some couple of minutes to load as it would be importing all the demo codes from your SDK folder into the DS. So as this window loads up, you can see that the required the corresponding package that we have downloaded of the SDK, you can see its names and under it, you can see there would be all the microcontrollers of K1 family that, uh, they, they, that are listed K116, K118, K148, K114214 and all those things. And now in every corresponding controller, there are basically two folders in the demo codes demo examples you can see driver examples in which all the examples for the individual peripherals and uh, uh, are given and one is the demo apps in which there are different application codes demonstrating the features of the microcontroller so in this uh, we are first of all in this video uh, we will be ex ex uh, exploring many of these demo examples during the course of this tutorial series in this exam uh, video we are going to load the hello world example of S32 K144. So now that's the project created of your demo code, demo example on the Design Studio IDE. So actually it is not created, it is we have imported the demo example into the Design Studio IDE. And when the project is imported or when the project is created, you can see the project name the, is displayed under the Project Explorer window. So if you double click on it and then you can see all the files and the folders and all the driver files which are there uh, in this project are being shown to you and on double clicking on it you can just see uh, open them on the text editor and then uh, explore and understand the code so that's our main.c code in which our normal blink led sketches uh the code for blink led sketches being written and now to compile the code just click on it and go to project and click on build project and then you will see that inside under the console window, the project building would be started. And it is like a proper verbose just in Arduino. You can see all the compilation process. So this is one of the way of making a project from the demo example. And that's your co code is being compiled with zero errors and zero warnings, as you can see on the screen. Now let's move to the another way 
of making a project from the already developed code opening a project creating a project from the already developed code so now let's move ahead and let's create a project from the third way that is creating a project from the scratch so for doing so go to file go to new and then go to ds application project let's start with ds application project now in this a window will pop up in which it will be asking you for which controller you want to create the application project so it might take just uh, some uh, couple of seconds and then in the controller we are going to select the std to k144 and name the project so i'm just naming it first project okay and here you can see the location of this uh, application project which will be there and then in the below in the description you can see which jnu gcc tool chain is it gonna use you will be having an option to change this if you want in the subsequent steps click on next now you over here it will ask you that what are configuration basic configurations of the project you wanna do first of all go to the sdks and in this it will ask you which sdk you wanna attach with the project if you don't select any sdk so it would be like a bare metal project then which there are no any there are no driver files or hl we can use so but we i'm just going to show you by the use of the sdk so sdk of sk144 that is 4.0.3 version this one is the latest one click on okay and then in the debugger select the debugger that you are going to use for flashing and debugging so there are two debugger options which you can see sega debugging interface and the jdb pe micro debugging interface so PE micro is the proprietary and that comes with the board, the K144 orange color evaluation board. So on it, there is an onboard PE micro debugging interface. And Sega debugging is using the JLink debuggers, external JLink debuggers, which are universal debuggers. So we are going to, I'm going, the electronics version 2 board that I have and that we are going to use is, would be programmed by using the JLink debugger, JLink V9 debugger. So we are going to use a debugger, Sega debugging interface. And the programming language you want to use c c plus plus and the uh, floating point support if you mean so we are not going to change these these are going to be tool cho uh, tool chain default and the input output these are the standard libraries of uh, c that you want to use and you can configure those also so we are not going to change with any of those things and the core in some of the study to uh, microcontrollers there are multiple cores, there are many cores. So that's why there is an option of selecting core which you want to use. So correspondingly, those processor startup files and the processor, uh, 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 the code would be initialized. So in there, we have only one core, Cortex M4, so that is what is created. Now click on finish, and now your project will be created and it would be you on the project explorer. As you can see over here, it is attaching the first of all SDK to our project so the we can code configure and create the files. Okay, and the first project that is being created under the project explorer in which we can see the source file that is on the main dot six. It is empty, or like the only the basic main dot six code, and the in the SDK we can see all the platform drivers and all those things. And the board uh, SDK project configuration dot edge. If we have chosen the if we have not chosen any sdk and we have directly uh, not chosen any sdk so none of the folders like sdk and board would be created these two are only created because we have selected the sdk uh, for our need for a project creation now if we compile this project so you will be able to see in the console window that our compilation process is started so and now project is being compiled with zero zero warnings and now you can configure your project according to your need by using the code configuration tool and the proper in those things so about the code configuration and code generation and this whole uh, code configuration tools now that is what we are going to start with the next this way i will be taking the next video because this video is already of around 10 minutes so now getting back to this okay so yeah, so that's all, all the three ways by which you can create the project. Okay. So guys, I know in the video, I have not told the second way that is by opening the or creating a project or opening a project from the already developed code. And that is because my DS and my video editor is not working properly. 
and I just need to shoot the video so that my consistency remains same. But uh, in my blog, I have described this pay also. So you guys can refer to this my blog for the second way to know on how to open the already developed code on the DS project. And if you face any issues, so you can just mention them in the comment section, or you can also post your queries and doubts on the forum page of Geto that I have also created. In which there are various fields, and you can just mention your login to the website, okay, and then uh, post your queries over here. So guys, till then, stay safe, stay happy. In the next video, we are going to explore the code configuration tool of Design Studio, okay. And meanwhile, also do refer to the GetoByte website and do share this video and my content so that it can reach to the masses and it can help and get help the people to know about the various technologies and the things that I am uploading on my platform. Thank you guys. See you in the next video. So that's it for now, guys. Like the video and subscribe to the channel and do share it among your friends and press the bell icon to get notified with such videos as and when they are uploaded.